So a major theme of the right, including the distant right over the past few weeks, is that Sam Bankman Freed has just been getting away with it because he donated so much money to the Democrats. And uh, it's not a theme that I've amplified, and it's not something that I've considered you know, important that uh, I need to discuss. It's not something that kept me up at night. It's not something that I, I was angry about. I just ignored it. It didn't seem like a strong case. And now Sam bankman fried has indeed been arrested and, and charged with fraud. So prosecutors often take a lot more time to build a case than ordinary people think is justified. But uh, you can't just intuit the law. Right? Just because it seems like someone's committed fraud doesn't mean that prosecutors have sufficient evidence and have assembled a strong enough case to arrest someone. So this you know, right-wing paranoia that uh, Sam bankman fried was getting away with it because right? he was a major donor to the Democrats. He was being treated more leniently by Joe Biden's Justice Department that he'd been given a a free pass to commit massive amounts of fraud. All right, well, the Justice Department is just going after Donald Trump, but it's not going after Democrats. Well, Sam bankman frieds now being arrested and indicted. I think that undercuts that, uh, that paranoia and that conspiratorial mindset. So yeah, Sam bankman fried donated nearly $40 million to Democrats. But uh, there's, uh, there's no evidence that he was going to get away with it. So Tucker Carlson was claiming, Biden's Justice Department seems not very interested in a man called Sam bankman fried Well, why is that? Maybe it's because Sam bankman fried was the Democratic Party's second biggest donor this cycle. Right? That's just nonsense and paranoia. Elon Musk said Sam bankman fried was a major Democratic donor, so no investigation. Jesse Waters was echoing the same thing. Janine Pirro on Fox News. Do we have a two-tiered system of justice? Tucker Carlson said last week, Sam bankman fried was the second big, biggest donor to the Democratic Party. We're hearing the Justice Department is looking into him. He's going to get away with it, said Tucker. Well, he's been arrested. There's a sweeping eight-count indictment against him. It includes campaign finance violations. Right, it takes time to build white collar cases. Yeah, Bernie Madoff was arrested shortly after his misdeeds came to light, but the situations are not comparable. Right, Bernie Madoff's scheme was revealed by Bernie Madoff himself. He confessed the whole thing to his sons. He then told the FBI. His sons called the FBI. Two days later, two agents showed up at Bernie Madoff's home, asked there was whether there were innocent explanations for what Madoff had told his sons. Bernie Madoff replied, there is no innocent explanation. All right. On the other hand, Sam Bankman fried was not anxious to confess. He's repeatedly rejected the idea that his actions amounted to fraud. So why was the arrest of Sam Bankman fried on Monday suspicious timing? Because he was due to appear remotely on Tuesday to a House committee where Republicans plan to grill him. So now, from the Republican perspective, Sam bankman fried was not arrested too late, but too early, says this excellent Washington Post article. So there's no real reason to believe the Justice Department is timing all this to help the Democrats.